We're not drinking and won't even step foot in the cabaret club or nothing. Can't blame for the boys for wondering. Yeah, so they think he's gay. Well, I... You what? You actually married or something? No, that's not it. And you brought this on yourself. What with you being so straight-laced all the time? I know it ain't your thing, but I reckon it'd be nice if you joined us for drinks at a hostess club one of these days. We'll change the pace, you know? Okay. Okay. You just agreed to it, right? Well, yeah, but... I appreciate you, OJ. Great, then let's get going. We gotta grab life by the horns. Huh? It's getting pretty late, Chief. Another spot might be overdoing it a little. Come on, you agreed to it and everything. A man never goes back on his word, right, Suzuki-san? Look at how red his cheeks are. I guess. Don't get your briefs in a bunch. I know you're always saving up cash to send off somewhere. So tonight's 100% on me. All I'm asking is one little cabaret club. If that's all it'll be. <laughs> He's like... One of my taxi buddies said this Olivier place will fix up real hootin' time. This is... Huh? Something wrong? You know it, Suzuki-san? Yeah. Er, no. Will it just be the two of you tonight? Yeah, set me up with the most breathtaking gal you got on staff. I want your number one. Number one! Number one! So they will be requested her then, sir? There's an additional charge to that. And I ain't gotta pay it. Feel free to do it. Come on now, show us the prettiest girl you got. Sir. Sorry about him. I'll cover the request fee. We'll take your number one. Very well. In that case, right this way, gentlemen. So Man, they love themselves some cabaret cl uh, cl uh, clubs in these uh, with these devs. Hi there. Momo this. I'm Momo. The heck? This is the cutest girl here. Lot of ass for your number one. What an asshole. Don't give me that lip. I get folks lined up for me every day of the week. Ah, uh, he likes this girl, huh? Not Mo he doesn't want Momo. Good evening. I'm Mayumi. Now there's a number one. Friggin' gorgeous. Don't tease me like that. I'm long past my prime. Like heck you are. Come on, Suzuki-san. Ain't this girl top shell? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that girl's hair is all kinds of done up. It's like curled and put up and. <laughs> uh, what do these Tojo pricks think they are? It makes me want to hurl. Hey, you're bringing us another bottle or what? Oh god, I got to be up people in a. Yeah. Those guys sure kicking up a storm. Who are they, anyways? Oh, them? They're our protection. Protection? You mean Yakuza? Yup, small timers, though. Just by the bottom rung of the Yamagasa ladder. Why do you gotta come boozing here? It ain't protection if they only show up when there's not a speck of trouble. Apparently, there's special circumstances. 
Some special group from Tokyo is in town. I think they're called the Tojo clan. They're all over the Nagusa right now. If you're asking me, I bet these guys are here to keep any of them Tojo folks out. I'll clean over my head, but it stinks so trouble. Just wish they stayed away on Kata. Right, Suzuki-san? Yeah, I guess. It's a real crick in the neck. Them hanging out here on paydays go scare all our customers off. Not to mention they're sloshed out of their minds. Bunch of dang pests. Why we gotta sit around in this dump? Not deal with the Tojo? They said we knock them clean on their asses and right fucking Vukoka. Guess the main family doesn't want to ruffle any feathers. Equal lines, my ass. We signed for that shit. Those Tojo fucks will still treat us like something stepped in. The main family just don't get it. Got that right. And there's this, their chairman. Some jack off called Daigo Jojima. Rumor has it, he's guy's only 69. <laughs> 36. That's younger than me. Apparently he's got the gig because of his daddy. Right in the weekly Jitsu. So then we're going to be taking orders from some old bride still pisses the bed. Look at how drunk these dudes are. Fuck that. Ain't just damn for it. Empty. Great service you got. Hey, we're dry over here. Get us a new bottle and make us snappy. Coming right up, sir. Here you are, sir. <laughs> Too fucking slow. Everyone looks sloshed as shit, man. Sir? Enough's enough. I'm tossing those punks out. Chief. It's all good, all good. Just sit back and watch. Hey, you over there. Pipe down. You're ruining the vibe. You gotta be more considerate about how the customers feel when you're drinking. <laughs> Drunk fool. You think you just run your mouth at us like that? Look at how red his eyes were. Huh? You're pretty quick to attack a civilian. I guess the Yamagasa family doesn't offer etiquette classes. Say what? And who the shit are you? Right. It's no surprise you don't know. I don't care either. Fair enough. That'll make this easier. Well, I'm ready when you are. Well, you mumbling about, man. You picked the wrong day to mess with us. Lucky for us, we were just thinking we'd give us a nice new punching bag. I'll be ready to die. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Gossip family. <laughs> I'm actually kind of impressed. Okay, you guys want to play like that? We'll play like that.
These guys are kicking my ass and I don't get it. I hate when they go to the enemies being like heavy grabbers. It just makes the combat more annoying. God damn it, Mel. Well, also, also welcome back. No damage to him. It got to combat, Mel, and I, I, I was like, I can't do this. I was like, I cannot do this combat. If you're... The stuff with the invisible enemies, like I just couldn't do it. I was like, I'm not, my, I'm in a bad state of mind, and it's like, yeah. Sorry for all that trouble. Yeah. Please, you should be the ones apologizing. I'm not sure I should be saying this. I'm glad you ran those Yamagasa thugs out of here. I doubt they'll show their faces in my club again. I hope you're right. No, I got. I played it for like six hours now. Where'd they go? You don't remember? I might. I might try again later. You really want to show them who's boss, sir? I did. Where we go now? Yeah, I. I have way more, and I've. I've owned the game for like over a year now, and I just had the uh, yeah, director's cut. That was a real hoot, huh? Hey, Think I'll request that girl Mayumi-chan next time. <laughs> well, it's up and at him again in the morning. Good night. Get home safe, sir. Well, tomorrow's another day. Time to head home. What have you been up today, Mel? Whoa. Sorry. So you finally showed, huh? 
I saw you tear those guys a new one back there, acting the hero, saving the girl. Pretty smooth, I must admit. Uh, thanks. Hey, don't be like that. I mean it. Anyway, I didn't real uh really see you around here much until oh I don't know six months ago, and I you really don't talk like locals, so you're from out of town, right? Oh, nice. Maybe. <laughs> you don't have to tell me if you don't want. Someone who's lived as long as you's got to have a few things they'd rather keep to themselves. Oh, right. Duh. I haven't introduced myself. The name's Sosuke Komoki. Sosuke the Exterminator. I rid the streets of whatever trash floats to the surface. Punks, thugs, hooligans, you name it. Komaki, huh? Please, just call me Suzuki. I've been watching you do your thing, and I gotta say, you move pretty quick for an old dude. <laughs> I bet you were the real shit back in your prime. The what? Like, you're a whole another level compared to the lame-ass bitches you see around town. You still got nothing on me, though. Do you need me for something, or can I go now? Come on, chill out for a second. You're an outsider. I'm an outsider. Folks like us gotta stick together, don't you think? Besides, your performance back there got me curious. I can't let you walk away just yet. Just cut the chase already. Was it, uh, what is it you want already, exactly? Picked, piqued your interest, did I? Good. Only thing is, we're in earshot of, like, the entire city here. Mind if we take this some place, uh, somewhere private? I can look at it later, Mel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna streaming for, like, 15 more minutes, and I'm done. I gotta go do some shit. This'll do the trick. Well... What do you want from me? Straight to the point, just like, just how I like it. Then I won't mince words. I want to fight you. You what? You could tell you were holding back on the thugs in the club. If anything, you were just venting a bit. I know I'm right. As for what you got all wound up, no freaking clue. One thing's for sure, you need an outlet for all that aggression. And no better way to let it all out than a good old fashioned fist fight. Do doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. You're reading too much into it. Besides, I have no reason to fight you. You need a reason? Damn, some way of the warrior shit right there. I like it. Hard to explain it all now, but we have more reason to fight than you realize. Vague, I know, but trust me. If that ain't enough, though, there's nothing stopping me from coming at you right here right now. Need a better reason than that? Don't think so. Now get ready, old man, because here I come. Sure, I'll do that. Yeah, when I get a second. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if it'll be today, but heh. So you two have some fight in you. Satisfied? I have better things to be doing right now. Come on, I could be satisfied after that. I was barely even trying. Yeah, that's what everyone says after they get laid out. Come on, old man, you must have felt it. Neither of us was giving it our all, and you damn well know it. You sure is pushy. You've been out of the game a while, old man. I could scrape the rust off you with a knife. Unless you fix that, you're gonna have a real rough ho road ahead. So why don't give you some pointers, help you brush up. I'll have you back in tip-top shape in no time flat. All I want in return is the fight of a lifetime. Once you're back in your prime, I mean. Well, you think I'd accept help from someone who just attacked me for no reason? Hey, there was a reason. As soon as you give me the fight I want, I'll spill. I've got nothing to hide. You just gotta earn it first. You're a real pain in the neck, you know that? I'll take that as a compliment. Anyway, you know where to find me. Come back when you want a tango. If I feel like it. I spend my time hanging around right here, so stop by when you get a chance. If you don't see me, I'm probably off somewhere grabbing a bite. Fine. But for now, I'm going home. I'll humor you some other time. I'll be waiting. See ya. Not happy about being out this late. I really, I uh, should really get home. All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of here.
Yeah, I understand, Mel. Why do they have a cinema of him, like, like a s <laughs> walking like that? Phew, another long day. You should probably get some sleep. Need to be fresh for tomorrow. What is being fresh for tomorrow like? I don't know. Making some tea, smoking a cigarette, living a life, Kiru. May I always seem it, but I'm trying my best to walk this path. Fourth chairman. I'm home. <laughs> you left the cattle on. Oh, hey, you. Uh, hey, welcome home. Okay. What the fuck? I did not expect that. <laughs> Chapter two. Uninvited guest. That sounds cool as shit, Mel. You wear a hoodie to bed like that? Oh, hi -yo. Morning, sleepyhead. Breakfast is almost ready. Just a minute. Oh, so. Oh, yeah. I washed your work shirt for you, so there's a fresh one ready for you to wear. She's the host, right? I keep telling you, you don't have to do that. What's the harm in helping her out around the house? I can take care of myself. I don't need to be mother. Come on, lighten up a little. You've been staying over every day lately. You should go home once in a while. I don't mind. By the way, I noticed your boss was pretty drunk last night. Yeah, when you're single at his age, I imagine it gets pretty lonely. He's single? I could have sworn he was married. Why? There's an imprint on his left ring finger. An imprint? Yeah. You'd have to have a band on for decades to leave a mark like that. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> I didn't think you would. Will you be home late again tonight? Uh, yeah, I'm on the midday shift. Maybe you could stay at your own place for a change. <laughs> oh, come on. I can tell you you're happier when I'm around, Suzuki-san. I don't know what you mean. I might take you up at some point, Mel, but not tonight. Your tie's crooked. There, all better. What's wrong? Yeah. It's nothing. I should go. Have a good day. Let's go to work. Okay. Let's go to Nagasu Takisi. How many times are you gonna get jumped on the way?
ちょっとちょっとちょいちょいおっさんおっさんお金ちょうだいよ Just some random Why? Like everyone in Japan wanna beat me up randomly So apparently, when pink guys are up, they're. I mean, I always try to understand the logic of things when I'm playing them, Mel, even when it doesn't make any fucking sense. I like logic. I'm not very, I don't have very good logic most of the time, but. That asshole. Finally tracked your ugly face down. Who are you again? Uh? Don't pretend like you don't know. We're here to scale the score. Seriously, I have no idea who you are. You're doing your goddamn know it. Now strap in. It's time you pay back for double what you did to us yesterday. Oh, you're those punks I had to teach a lesson. Guess class is back in session. Not today, pal. Not way you're getting over with us. Not with the backup we got in store for ya. So you brought someone else to finish the job you couldn't. Guess you're just a creep, but you're not just a creep, but a coward too. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. We'll wipe that dumb smirk off your face soon enough. Come on out here, Nagata san. There's your man. Mm hmm. Hee <laughs> hee. Hope you already wrote your will, Rank Glass, because Nagata san here is a member of the legendary Nagasa Devil Killers. Think you're tough? Wait till Nagata san here gets his paws on you. You're gonna look at smears on the ground and wish that was you. The Nagasa Devil Killers? Sorry, never heard of them. <laughs> you what? Look, can we just get this over with so I can get to work in peace? You're going to make me late. Oh, you work at Nagasa Taxi then. That's none of your business. Heh, <laughs> you boys are right. This guy's got a real a attitude problem. How about we give him a new perspective from a hospital bed? Get it now? All this tough guy business is only going to get you hurt. Why, you? This ain't over yet. You're gonna regret the day you mess with the devil killers. Hey, hold up, Anarchy. I mean, you're, you're pretty accurate, huh? The devil killers, huh? They didn't seem so tough. Well, they should really be getting to work. Here, old 
man. You can have a treat. Yeah. Man, my noggin is killing me. But then kind of strange though. It feels like a hangover, more like I got smacked across the face. It's because you did, dumbass. Did I take a tumble last night or something? Yeah. No, but you should get that looked at it just in case. Do me proud out there today, Kay. Give Hirokawa-san over there a holler. Pretty sure we got some calls in. I'm on it. Oh, Suzuki-san, good morning. Morning. I heard you went to see Tenjin Transportation yesterday. They sent a little thank you gift your way. Apparently, whatever you gave them last night went over well. There was even a nice note with it. You must have brought them something pretty special. It's not like the president act this way. It wasn't all that special. Well, anyway, you should hang on to this. You got a stamina star. Are you sure? Isn't it for the company? Do you go apologize to the chief's behalf? I knew he'd want you to have it. If you insist, thanks. I guess I better get, head out for the day. On your way out, Suzuki Sakun. Oh, Wada-san. Yeah, I was thinking of doing a few loops around Naga uh, Nagasu. Well, ain't that just the most perfect time? Mind if I bum a ride off you? My place is a bit of a hike from here, so I'd be real appreciative if you just dropped me off on the way. Hey. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Great. You're a lifesaver. Wada-san, you know you should be using our taxis on your own personal gain. Seriously. Maramatsu-kun? Yeah, seriously. You're the most senior driver here, you, so you need to set the example. Uh. Man, way to call me out. I'll cut the guy some slack, Muromatsu-kun. Ain't a big deal as long as it's not every day. Suzuki-san, don't mind taking... You don't mind taking Wada-chan along, do you? And Wada-chan, as long as you're getting a free lift, you might want to give Suzuki-san here some advice. You're our top driver, so you gotta show the new blood how it's done. Be glad to, Chief. Let's hit the road, then. I mean, there's that's an L statement. The, the Rod Stinks part is part of a four loop. Let's be real. Let's get going, then. For a long as... Uh, for alive equals true, Rod Stinks. Oh. Yeah, oh. Nakajima-san wanted me to give you a few driving tips while we're at it. But I'm the last guy you want to hear advice from, but just want to indulge an old man. Not at all. I appreciate it. All right. Off we go. I, am I actually driving a car in this? Wow. car
I love when these people fucking crosswalk in front of a moving fucking car. Outside of like cart racing, that's like the first time I've raced in one of these games. Thanks, you really saved my skin there. My pleasure, your advice was very helpful. <laughs> I'm glad. If there's anything else I ever could help with, just say the word. Good luck out there. Hi. See you around. I just want to save and wrap up stream now. Oh, there's a taxi. Oh. You taking passengers? Hi. Sure, get in. They're gonna make me do a couple fucking things and then I could end the stream. Nice day out, huh? It is. Sure has been awful cold out lately. Every year the fall gets shorter and then the winter gets longer, am I right? Don't you think so, driver? I guess. You're pretty quiet for a cabbie. Only six months. Oh, okay, that explains it. What's he talking about? Let me put it to you like this. I don't know about other parts, but here in Fukuoka, taxi drivers are expected to keep up the conversation. Most of us locals here in Fukuoka like to chat. If you don't have the gift of gab, you're not going to get any regular customers. I see. My boss told me the same thing, come to think of it. I bet he did. Taxi driving is a service job, and small talk is a big part of the service. Right. But I don't know what to talk about. Then talk. Then how about I give you some pointers? Such as? Well, I thought we'd do some practice on I'll help you get started. I'm not speaking the Hakata di dialect, so it should be easy to follow. Sound good? Okay. So, how's business today? I'm asking you, driver. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Business is pretty good. It helps when I get passengers like you who are going on longer trips. There you go. That's how it's done. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of this. So, have you gotten the hang of the job yet? No, I still have plenty to learn. Yeah, I imagine it takes time. What part of work do you do? What sort of work do you do? <laughs> Me? I'm more of a glorified security guard than anything. Never mind that, though. Different subject. Sure. What's your favorite Hakata food so far? Well, I tried Mizutake the other day, and it was delicious. Yeah, it's pretty tasty, isn't it? Goes well with sake, so it's perfect for those who like their drink. You a big drinker? Oh no, you don't have to apologize, crap. I yeah, I got to combat and I I couldn't do it. Oh, I'll have a drink every now and then. Oh hey, you know what you should try next? Gamini. Gamini, never heard of that one. Is it any good? Why sure. You might even hear some people call it Chiku Zeni. Anyways, it's chicken and vegetable stew. I, dude, I, I got to, I'm like, I'm in a bad state of mind already, and it's like, we always have it at New Year's. What the fuck? Ah! Damn. What happened? The car behind us sped up all of a sudden and tried to run us off the road. Are you all right, sir? I'm fine. I'm fine, but that car, it looks like they're one of the devil killers. Devil killers? Street racers who cause nothing but trouble. They challenge people on the road and shake them down for money if they lose. Happened to a lot of people already. I might. I just, I couldn't play it right now. That punk from earlier said he was with the devil killers. Now that I think of it, I didn't realize there was this much of a menace. Problem is, I'm out of Adderall too. I'm not using it on the weekends. I'm trying to use it just to work because I'm two and a half weeks in since filling my, uh, putting my prescription in, and they haven't filled it out because of the shortages. Now they've decided to pick on a local taxi. Bunch of goddamn lunatics. You know what? Though, a professional driver like you should be more than capable of handling them. Go ahead and take them on. I don't know if that's a good idea. I didn't tell you, but I'm actually with the Motor Patrol unit of the Fukuoka Police. What? You're an officer? Yeah. And not the kind who sits back on his ass while a bunch of little shits pretend like they own the road. Yeah, Krem. 
Driver, you have my permission. We need to take a stand against these reckless criminals if we want to keep the streets safe for our citizens. I can't guarantee that will turn out how you want, but I might as well give it a shot. Great. Let's burn some rubber. Here goes nothing. Yeah, dude, I... It's been two and a half weeks. And I'm just... Yeah. I'm a fucking... That is just my problem with everything else going on, you know? <laughs> And I had a fucking week from hell, so it was like everything went. It was not the time for that death stranding stuff. <laughs> How is he like speed boosting? I kick the shit out of that ass. Yeah, I mean, it's not big pharma. It's fucking the tops of capitalism, man. Big pharma is a big part of it, but like, it's just everyone who is making all the money in this country, in the world, is just like, oh, we need more. We, we don't have enough. And it's like, man, I don't believe this shit. Got my ass whipped by a taxi driver. Hey, I remember you. Oh, jeez. It's that muscle-bound freak again. All right, you. Mark my words. You're going to wish you never made an enemy of the devil killers. Hear that, asshole? You fucked up real good this time. Oi. Get back here. Damn. You know that guy? Yeah. Not really. He picked a fight with me on the street a while back. No kidding? There's... That was no ordinary driving there, though. Were you even a? Were you ever a street racer yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just pulling your leg. Well, sorry for all the trouble. Let me treat you to a nice meal. You don't have to do that. Oh, come on. You've got to let me pay you back somehow. Besides, there's something I want to ask you about. What is it? I'll tell you while we're eating. How's that sound? I suppose that's fine. I just want to save it and wrap up the stream game. Come on. Cool. This here's one of my favorite spots. Go ahead and help yourself. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. So if you're, you'll allow me a word. I want to, to apologize for getting you involved. You said those guys are called the Devil Killers. Yeah, the Nagasu Devil Killers pretty much got the run in this place. Way back, they used to focus more on racing, but now they're just a typical gang gang up to all sorts of mischief. I see. But this turned out in turned into something else. I can tell they want to bring you down bad. Guys like that won't let up once they get you in their sights. You can count on them challenging you again. If that's the case, what do you suggest I do? Honestly, I want to see you leave them all sucking exhaust fumes. Every time they challenge you, crush them. Are you serious? Dead serious. I've seen what you can do, and I know you got a shot at this, no matter what you think. He's crazy. Speed is everything to these punks. No matter how hard we crack down on them, they keep coming back. They live for the thrill of winning. One way to stop them is to humiliate them at what they hold sacred. Win and they'll scatter like roaches. Much as like it, I can't go head-to-head -head with those punks in a co cop car. It only turns the badge. So we need someone picking up the gauntlet on our behalf. And that's what I, I come in where I come in? You're the only one I know at this point who could do it. Give them the opportunity, I reckon you could bring the entire squad to their knees. What do you say? We can't just let these vigilantes keep running rampant. I don't know. They've been causing absolute chaos these last few months. Things are going to get real, are going from bad to worse. They used to only go after other street racers, but now it seems anyone's fair game. Yep. Yeah. Families, elderly, even other taxi drivers like you have been running afoul of them. 
Taxi, Taxi drivers too? I mean, you're. Yeah, if we let them have their way, it would be. It could be someone you know who gets hit next. He has a point. Come on, man. I've said my piece. I don't want to let them cause any more trouble. I can't let that happen. Okay. You mean it? Yeah, I'll, I'll do whatever I can. Thanks. I'll be counting on you. Oh, and help yourself to seconds. Can't race on an empty stomach, you know. Right, thanks. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate you stepping up to help us. No problem. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you my name. I'm Furumichi with the uh, Prefectural Police. Good to meet you. And you are? Kiryu. Kiryu, I mean Suzuki. I'll make sure the local police stay clear of your races. So go on and get them, Suzuki-san. Great, now I'm racing the Devil Killers. What have I gotten myself into this time? I'm back. Ah, Suzuki-san. Thanks for giving Wada a sun ride. How'd it go today? Plenty of customers? Yeah. About that, I actually had a run-in with those guys called the Devil Killers. What is it? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Okay. The Devil Killers. They're one of the street racing gangs, right? Yeah. Yeah, they challenged me while I was on duty. An amateur like you, they ought to stick to their own kind. Don't they have any pride as racers? Can you fucking skip? Well, how'd it turn out? I won. You beat the devil rate killers? Yeah, it turned out my passenger was a cop named Furumichi, and he asked me to take them all down. He said the only way to do that was to race them, so that's what I did. But that's insane. I'll say. Now, Suzuki-san, don't you fret over this. I'll see if I can get in touch with the Furubichi fella, too. Sorry to drag you into this, Chief. I know you have better things to do with your time. No need to be so humble about it. It ain't like you're the one going around wrecking havoc on the streets. The devil killers, they're the problem here. Something wrong? Oh, no, nothing. I was just about to congratulate you for a job well done. Now go and take a breather. You've earned it. Of course, if you're looking for more work, talk to Hirokawa-san. There's plenty of calls to keep us scrambling around. Understood. Great. Then I'll leave you to it. Okay, let's level up and... God damn it. Oh, Suzuki Simon, can, can you come here for a minute? Sure, what can I help you with? I know you just got back, but we have another pickup request. Nobody else is available right now, so I'd like you to handle it if you can. Then leave it to me. I'd be happy to take care of it. Great, thank you. The client doesn't didn't seem to be in any sort of rush, so you could always take a break first. What works best for you? Yeah, I mean that's what it is. Mind if I quick rest then? Not all. Just say the word when you're ready. Save it now. Okay. 